where did it start though? What, 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 I, I, what was your first piece? What, 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 so my first ever watch, uh, and my wife is here, so I've, I've got to be cryptic on my first ever watch, but my first ever watch was uh, Formula One, and it was an Illumina style Formula One, um, and that was my first ever watch. And was it that kind of like, oh my God, light bulb moment? Probably not. It was a Luna style. I thought it was cool. Um, there's a photograph of me looking quite poncy with it, with it on my wrist. So it's not one of those things where I'd go to you and say, oh my God, this was cool. But my first ever watch was that. Uh, the reason why I'm saying my wife was here is that I gave it to one of my ex-girlfriends. I've never got it back. So I'm not kind of annoyed about that at all. Uh, but I brought you the same one, yes. <laughs> but and my, ki- and my kids have got, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> So that's why I'm trying to be a bit yes. kind of nice on this. Um, yes. But um, what I would say to you is that that was my first ever watch, but it wasn't the first one that made me go, wow. Um, and if anyone's read anything about me, you'll know that I, my first ever watch was a Breitling Navitimer, real kind of light bulb moment, Navitimer. And it was a gift from my father. And the reason why, and he, I, I asked him how much he paid, and it was 200 pounds. Thank God it was £200, because after what I did to it, I think you'd kind of honestly know it's £200. Um, It's now stuck in a safe inside of a safe inside of a safe, because it's my kind of my my baby that I'd never want to disappear out of my life. Um, Now, when I talk about it, it was given to me to save their house. And the reason is that every morning, and I'm still one of these people that gets up very, very early, And my brain goes. And so I used to take TVs to bits. I used to take the juicer to bits. I used to take, and I'd increase the speed of it. Or if there was a car that I could go into the engine, I would go into the engine. So I'm kind of, because I'd probably say, because of my, maybe my dyslexia, but it's more my inquisitive mind. I wanted to know how things worked. So I got given this on my birthday. And my birthday is just before Christmas. So I got given it on my birthday. And it was in bits over Christmas. Um, and so I'd taken the whole thing to bits with a pen knife and a glasses screwdriver, because that was all. There was no, this was when I, so this was 1995. So I was a, I was a kid. Um, and it's, it was what my father describes as one of the best Christmases he's ever had, because the house was safe. <laughs> So that, that's the thing. So, so yeah. Christmas, actually, they got to watch the Queen's speech. <laughs> they got to watch everything because it was, because it was that. So the Navitimer was my first lightning, light bulb moment. How, how a chronograph worked, mm. how, how the clutch system would work, how when you're, when you're kind of just um, resetting, mm. and also how it, how it kind of... Uh, how you could put the hands on and, and the different separations. So that was, that was my first light bulb moment. Yeah. I broke the glass uh, just after New Year um, because I'd put it back together and then taken it to b- bits again. Um, and it was, um, it was one of those... So you were just learning as you went along? Oh, you no, know, no. There was no, was no, manual, was there was no YouTube. No. There was no, there was no Breitling, now, uh, Breitling uh, manual. I think Breitling have had it back probably about... 15 times <laughs> and it takes longer to get back from them now and uh, it's but I kind of love that it goes through them but I, um, and when I talk to you about why it was one of those things is that I wanted to know how it worked I, I love the design of it mm. I love the feel of it but you think okay it was 200 pounds when my father brought it for me mm. so not huge amounts of money even in today's price but it was one of those things that, when you look at it, it's a holy grail watch now. It's one of those things that, you know, if you have a collection, there's certain watches that you would say, actually, I'd like this, I'd like that, I'd like this. But then it wasn't one okay. of those things. So 